I think I'm just going to do like every live while I'm trying to wait for it to process. I'm going to start it like that if I remember that is. Okay, let's see the quotes. Ooh, this this is um this is basically talking about what the video of tomorrow will be discussing the video that's coming out in like t- less than 23 hours from now. So yeah. Um basically stating it's okay be okay with not knowing for sure what might come next, but know that whatever it is, you will be okay and the reason why that this comes because i feel like there are moments where an individual could be extremely overwhelmed of the unknown and uncertainty because they don't have the control of knowing they don't have the control of what is happening next and, and that could terrify people a lot it actually scares me sometimes because you uh, a person can only control so much in their life and honestly when you're looking at your dreams and goals you you don't really have control of achieving them you're you're potentially just guessing what would bring you closer to it and if it happens if it does bring you closer great but you also don't know if it does until you achieve the goal and it's sometimes nerve-wracking because you're putting all this work but you don't see the process and sometimes it's confusing and you start to question yourself and yeah be sure to check in on tomorrow's video that that's coming out at 5 30 eastern time um personally that's a great video where i open up a lot of like self-questioning basically because i think a lot of people could relate to that it's just it's also something that isn't really discussed a lot so yeah oh what's a, another mm. Oh, this is, okay, so I just came across don't wish for a good body, work for it, so this, this, um, for any of you who are religious, for this, when you're praying to God, and you're praying for, like, the list of what you want, next time you pray, um look at your be conscious is that the right word i don't know be aware of your be aware of the words you are using and the way you're asking because you could um if you're just listening whatever you want it's gonna be more difficult because you're not having the things that you need in order to achieve or to receive the items that you're that you want so if i want if i were to pray to god to have all 100 percent on my exams next week i'm not gonna pray to god god can you please give me 100 percent on these exams no what i'm gonna do is God, can you be with me during the times of when I'm studying, reviewing the lessons, when I'm physically taking the test? Can you be there with me as I'm writing this, filling in the answers, whatever that needs to be completed during the test? Also, can you make sure that my mind is um, encoding, encoding, I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong, encoding, 
encoding, storaging, and making sure that the receival process of the information that is necessary for the test is being programmed correctly into my brain. So when I do have to retrieve the information for wherever it is stored in my brain, that it's a smooth, easy process, and I'm not second-guessing myself. There's a difference between that prayer and just asking hey, God, can I have 100%? Because that that prayer can only get you so far, whereas the previous one where I enlisted how in court, encoding the right information, having it stored in the right location in my brain so when I have to retrieve it from that area, that it's quick, simple, and I'm not stressing out if it's correct or not instead i know with certainty and confidence that it is because god was with me when i was reviewing when i looked over every lesson when i look over the lessons and my notes and the information that is necessary some prayers are great while others will actually benefit you because there's a difference between demanding and asking for help. And I feel it like, in not, no, I don't feel like I know that that could be implied in life as well. Because when you ask for help, you could be like, you could go up to a professor and be like, hey, can you help me with this? But then they're going to be like, what do you need help with? So you need, you can't just go up and not know. Well, no. You could, but you also know that, hey, this, as you do it in class, it makes sense. But when I'm doing it on my own, I, 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 it's not, it hasn't encoded improperly into me. So yeah, I'm not, so it wasn't stored properly into my brain. So I'm not retrieving it correctly. Can you please go over it one more time? And maybe this time you different wording or can you give me additional steps and write it on the side so next time I can look at the steps so I don't have to come up to you again and ask for help one more time wow I have no idea where that came from <laughs> I feel like that's a common thing for me um where if someone has a situation, all of a sudden I have the words that is necessary for them. But I think a big part of that is because I let God speak through me. And God knows what people need to hear. Of course, this doesn't happen all the time for me. But there are moments throughout the day, throughout the week, where I'm with my friends or I'm with like somebody. And they ask a question and I give them quality information that is necessary even though I may not know the whole situation or what's really going on but then sometimes some time afterwards I receive a message like what you said was honestly really helpful so yeah um, let me see What else could I talk about? Let's see. Um, this is, okay. There's, I think there's like a phrase, I don't remember exactly how it is, but it says like, Rome was built in a day. When in reality, it wasn't. Yet that's a saying that goes around and you may, depending on your generation you may hear it or you may have never heard it um but it's basically displaying how i take it in as others won't see the hard work what they will see is an overnight sensation they will see the good result and to them as outsiders who do not know what you put in to get to that place 
it would make it seem like, oh, it was built in a day when we realize when in reality all this background work was done in order to get that result. And I feel like that's really mask over and people are starting to think, oh, it doesn't require a lot to do this when in reality it takes a lot of dedication, it takes a lot of smart tactics and trials and errors and knowing what will work what doesn't and then try and figure out what will work and realizing that change didn't work the best so instead let's put that back to how originally it was but then let's change this thing and then it's a whole process and like now people could go travel to Rome and they just see the good result of it they just see the outcome but they they will they don't know the process of what it was to build Rome it it took a long time to actually build Rome and that's being masked over through the phrase Rome was built in a day so take that as you will if you did enjoy this please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content and comment down below your takeaway from this video please give it a thumbs up i see that someone already did so thank you very much and we'll see y'all next time bye y'all